What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on our new Town Hall 11 Let's Play and we got a ton of loot to spend. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash of Clans video guys. Today we're on that Town Hall 11 like I mentioned. We got a ton of loot to spend. We got 33 million gold, 34 million elixir, and 440,000 dark elixir. We got this from the gold pass last season. The season bank ended and we got 25 million gold, 25 million elixir, and 250,000 dark elixir. So what are we going to spend this on? So this is probably actually one of the hardest questions in the game because when the gold pass ends, it starts to become CWL week, which means you can't really do like hero upgrades right now. I mean, you can, but you don't really want to be without your heroes during CWL week. We got to get those clan castles filled. So how do we go about this? Well, if you remember at the end of even the free pass, not even the gold pass, at the end of the free pass, there's always, every single month, there's always a book of heroes. So I I always recommend trying to save that and we did just that last month so we saved that book of heroes that way we can get at least one hero upgrade done before we head into the cwl now uh we do have a little bit of wiggle room here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by hopping into the upgrades so we'll look at it our queen has 184,000 dark elixir to upgrade to level 43 and we have that book of heroes so let's go ahead and use that on her and then i was taking a look at my warden and he's actually pretty cheap and only one day 12 hours if you notice we still got about uh 10 11 hours on our war clock so i'm actually going to upgrade him to level four here today because what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be popping builder potions at the end of the episode so that'll be great now as far as in our laboratory I really recommend it since we got a lot of gold and elixir uh, really just do something expensive but for me I feel like I want to do something for dark elixir uh, that way all this dark elixir isn't going to go to waste if anything we could drop the elixir into walls I know it's not the most beautiful thing but it is something we can do with all this extra elixir so we're going to go ahead and I want to finish upgrading our five ICG we'll get that ice golem going up and then our bats are up and then we'll have that full attack up so we'll go ahead we'll get our ice golem going up and then we Get a little bit of wiggle room on our dark elixir so that'll help out quite a bit now we do have 30 million gold and 30 million elixir and still 146,000 dark elixir and since it is cwl week i figure it's a pretty good time to drop the ego artillery the ego artillery is going to make the biggest impact of any defense that we can get at town hall 11 so we might as well go ahead and grab this bad boy for 8 million gold since we're going to have both of our army camps up we got a full attack up uh we're working on heroes it's actually going to be a pretty nice upgrade so we'll go ahead and we'll get that down and it's a seven day upgrade uh i was looking at it and we could get a little bit more value elsewhere but i kind of want this just to be done for the cwl and then we could actually drop it down for another level so we'll go ahead and get it down to level one right there and then it's going to cost us 10 million for 10 days to get it up to level two because the heaviest part if you're worried about war weight which you shouldn't be war weight isn't as big of an issue as it used to be uh the biggest part of that is just dropping it down uh, onto the base to start with so there we go we get that going now we do have all these offers in the shop but literally i just bought all these yesterday and i feel like you guys aren't going to want to see me buy I don't know, someone out there wants to see me buy these uh but ideally they want us to buy these now these are going to help us progress these are going to help us out with our loot situation uh and if you are going to buy these make sure you go to your settings more settings and enter code bash but i don't think it's a necessity to buy these because the way i play is I always upgrade buildings first and then I upgrade walls. So for me, I don't actually mind dropping this loot into walls right now uh, because we don't really have, let's see, yeah, we don't have any more books or anything. I probably will buy the gold pass at some point, but even then the books are kind of buried away. So uh, what I think we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade our walls. I know, right? That, that's that and beautiful. We'll upgrade the walls and then we'll upgrade, you know, something like, something small like the expo or something like that just to get it going and then we'll go ahead and we'll pop off one of those builder potions so it's a little bit of an interesting idea here uh, but we could actually go ahead and put 21 million elixir into walls just like that we have a whole roll row of walls done and they don't have to go up any higher and then we could actually uh let's see can we do no we won't be able to do 21 million huh uh let's just let's just pretend let's see so that's 21 million Oh, we could use wall rings. Let's just go ahead and use some wall rings. That's beautiful. All right, we'll go ahead and use those wall rings right there. And let's just throw, like, hmm, that right there. And then let's see. We can grab that. 12 million gold. Perfect. And 
we're literally just gonna throw all this loot into walls some of you guys might be cringing out there but sometimes you just gotta do it guys this will give us a nice little head start on our walls and i don't regret it even a little bit because i've been farming with these sneaky goblins and these boys farm fast we'll do some farming we'll show you guys how to do them just in case you missed that video but they farm fast so what we're gonna do is we'll drop down that boat and then i'm just gonna pop all the builder potions i have uh which is actually that'll be 20 hours worth of builder potions which will be enough uh, and then we'll go with a third one there which will be 30 hours which will actually be pretty close to getting our warden done and getting those army camps done so we actually are going to need to farm just a little bit more so what we're going to do is we're going to farm using mass sneaky goblins and it's really easy to farm with these you can farm with all your heroes down and it's really worth using the dark elixir to boost these guys up that way you can use them to farm all right guys if you're still here i'm gonna reward you i'm gonna reward you for watching the video longer average view duration helps me in the youtube algorithm you know what else helps me a big thumbs up and if you guys do all those great things what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna share my town hall 11 cwl base for you guys so you can use it yourself it's this base right here i'll have it linked down there pinned in the comments that way you guys can go ahead and check that out i'm gonna use two witches and a baby dragon and the clan castle i'm not going to put that in the comments you had to watch to this point to know that but as my token of appreciation and maybe you guys leave a like subscribe turn on those notifications and then if we do town hall 12 tomorrow maybe i'll do the same thing for my town hall 12 base i don't know guys maybe we'll see how this video does maybe if you guys get to like 2500 likes i'll use the town hall 12 base tomorrow all right so hopefully you guys are pumped up hopefully we can bribe some like out of you guys uh, but honestly i get a lot of questions and comments about like getting bases and stuff uh so that's what i'm gonna run on my town hall 11 and we'll run on the town hall 12 uh, i probably won't be able to share my town hall 13 bases for you guys because <laughs> i can't be burning those ones uh so if you guys have never used sneaky goblins and you're new to town hall 11 these are really nice and they don't cost like too much i mean twenty five thousand dark elixir we can easily make that back in less than one boost like sometimes we can make that back in two three attacks depending on the loot we're gonna find so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just start working around the outside i do see double dark elixir right over there so i'm actually gonna throw my king my queen uh we'll throw some wall breakers in here just to try to get the king in there perfect nice and then we'll send in what do we got a wall wrecker nice a wall wrecker right up the middle let's hit the king's ability we'll go ahead and freeze that single beautiful and then uh that should all open up for us nicely and then we'll go ahead i believe we have a yeti valkyrie combination in here i uh, recommend getting some kind of damage in there whether it be valkyrie zapaka yeti pack yeti valkyrie uh, just get some damage in your clan castle which will help you out quite a bit let's go ahead and hit the queen's ability here and then we're going to go ahead and yump right on in there. That's right. We're going to yump right on in there. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I thought they might go over there first. That's okay, though. And as long as they get that gold real quick, we'll be fine. Gold, gold, gold. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we can run them over here. Go, gobbies, go! Uh, we might miss some of the loot here, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and throw in a heal spell. And just make sure we get as much of this as possible. We're going to get most of it right there. Let's see, they're going to have to get through like two th two layers of walls there. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think the Dark Elixir on the other side is going to be kind of hard to get. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and go for the Elixir and stuff over on the sides here. Oh, get through the walls! Alright, they finally get through the walls. Oh, those ones got through and they're on the move. Alright, let's go like that. Oh, I just put those guys into an eagle shot. Huh. Do we think we can get through here? Hmm... Eh, it's gonna be rough. All right, let's go like this, and then maybe we could do like this, and then we can just uh, we can just go like something up. Okay, well we got some of the loot. We're not gonna get all that dark elixir, but that's that's how we use sneaky goblins, guys. We just go in there, we grab all the loot, and then we get on our way with all of our gains. And what I like about sneaky goblin farming is we don't even have to have a full army of sneaky goblins to go out and farm. Like even this base, like we got a ton of loot, and there's gonna be some loot inside. But all of the collectors and the gold mines and the dark elixir drills, they're all full around the outside. And then what's not full, we can actually just go ahead and send our wall wrecker in. And we can just get access into this compartment. And we'll be nice and fine. That's a beautiful thing right there, guys. Beautiful! Alright, uh, what we'll do is we'll get ready. Uh, queen. Queen, you're being really rude. Uh, we bring that rage of the clan castle. Oh, those Valkyries. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, Valkyrie just tore her up. Oh, she didn't stand a chance. All right, and then we'll go, hey, how you doing? And we'll go like this, we'll go like this. No, we don't even need a full wall break there just to get a little bit of weakened, a little weakened. All right, that's weakened. 
All right, let's see. We got, we actually got quite a bit of stuff in there. Uh, let's go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, so we don't have a lot left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really, it doesn't really matter where we get in here. Uh, let's see. We can do a jump. We can do a jump like here. We can go jump. Let you jump, jump, jump. All right, so we'll go jump three there, and then we can jump over there, and we can go yonder, and then we can yeetville right. Yeah, we'll, we'll make that. We'll yonder yeet right into that one. Beautiful, <laughs> so beautiful. Oh, well, guys, I mean, you know, we, I would like to really get this one, but I don't think we'll be able to get there. We'll use our last little bit of goblins, and I'm not even gonna boost for this because uh, I, I'm not gonna be up late enough for the, to finish the boost. <laughs> I'm not gonna be up. Uh, it's boomer bedtime. All right, uh, so we'll just get a little bit of loot there, and this is all I'm gonna do, guys. Over the next, uh, when I wake up, really, not even over the next little bit of time. When I wake up, I'll farm a little bit. We'll drop something down, and I'll probably just drop something cheap down. Uh, something like these collectors of gold mines, or maybe even some of these defenses, because we need to still get these guys up to the Town Hall uh, 11 standard. Well, Town Hall 10 standard, and then up to Town Hall 11. Or we could even do the gold mines, right? Oh, yeah, those are super duper cheap. Yeah, we could just drop down some gold mines. We'll have, what, two, three builders available? We can drop down three gold gold storages, not gold mines. That'll be easy. All right, guys, so same thing. We don't have a full army, but we're good to go. We got our king or queen. We got some gobbies. And we, actually, we got like, I mean, we don't have a 100% full army, but we got enough to do some damage on this base. Check this out. We're going to go right in there and grab all that. Hmm. The rest of the loot's kind of spread throughout. Uh, let's go uh, right up the middle here with the wall wrecker, the king, the queen, and uh, all that kind of beautiful stuff. All right, so wall wrecker, king, queen, all up the middle. Remember our grand warden? He's upgraded. Upgrading like a big boy or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right, uh, king, queen, going to go up the middle, though, get these storages. And then we'll have a nice little pathway through the rest of the base or something. All right, let's see. Beautiful. Get through the storage. Let me get through this wall. Get through this wall. Oh, that's that's clutch. That's huge. That's huge. It's huge. All right, let's uh, get in there. Let's go, uh, King. Let's uh, let's just rage these yetis. <laughs> yetis are raged. Oh, we're gonna be nice on this one, guys. All right, so. Uh... Do we do we need to go full out? I mean, we can get a star, I guess. I know some people are like, oh, why don't you get a star on that base? Like, bro, we don't need a star. And let's go. Sure, we'll just jump right in here. We'll go with some of these guys right in here. And we'll be fine. All right, we'll get a one star on there. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll just move on with our day. How's your day? My day's all right. How's your day? All right, so there we go. And that's all I'm going to do for the next little bit, guys, is just keep farming Keep grabbing. I, didn't, I realized I didn't show you guys how much we got from that. 836, 768. And that's all you do with the sneaky goblins. You just go out, farm quick, and be on your way. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on clash bashing. While you watch that whole video, here's another video that YouTube thinks you'll like. And here's a playlist of similar videos.